Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another desktop project. In today's video, we're gonna be making something called a mini longbow. These little spear slinging devices can be made with materials you may already have around the house, and you can put them together in about 10 to 20 minutes. The materials you're gonna need for this product are very simple and very inexpensive. I just ran down to local Walmart, and I picked up some bamboo skewers, some girl's hair clips, uh, some mini popsicle sticks, and some embroidery thread. You can get the color of your choice. I'm going with yellow. And as far as tools go, all you're really gonna need is a hot glue gun and a pair of scissors. Now to get started building our longbow, we're gonna to need to grab one of these small craft sticks and put a hole through the center of this popsicle stick just wide enough to accommodate a bamboo skewer. And you can do that in a number of ways. You can use a sharp point of a knife and just spin it in circles, or you can grab something like a 9 16 inch drill bit and very quickly drill a hole right through it. And then take two of these little hair clips and give them a small modification. What we need to do is get rid of this center piece in the hair clip, and if you just use your finger to press the back of it, you can see it pops up. If you grab that and bend it over, you can actually snap it clean off. Then press the center to pop the clip back, and your first piece is complete. Once you've got your two clips modified, we're going to use a couple of dabs of hot glue on the ends of our popsicle sticks to secure them in place like that. Now while the glue is still hot, it's a good idea to set it face down on the table and make sure that the hair clips are straight, then just give it about 20 to 30 seconds to cool completely. Now hot glue is amazingly impressive and very durable, however, to reinforce our bow and make it a little bit stronger and more versatile, we're going to reinforce these joints with a little bit of embroidery thread. What we want to do is start with a very small dab of hot glue just on the back side of the popsicle stick and use that as a place to start your string. You can overlap the string a little bit just to get it started because it's very easy to snip that off later. What we want to do is just get about five or six turns going around the base of that hair clip. Now eventually we get to the point where that hair clip gets so narrow at the bottom it wants to slip down and that's okay. We'll go ahead and slip down, start wrapping that, and then we're going to work our way from the bottom all the way up until the top until we can't see any more of the popsicle stick. And we're going to use one more dab of hot glue on the back to secure the back end of the string. I find if you lick your finger and press it down, it helps prevent the glue from sticking to your fingers and helps prevent you from getting burned. All right, with that one done, finishing the other side is just as simple as doing the same thing. So there we have it, guys. That pretty much completes all of the lashings for our bow. Now we can use some of the same embroidery thread to create the bowstring. We're going to start off with a piece of string a little bit longer than one of these bamboo skewers and we're going to start by looping it through the centers of the hair clip and then bringing it around and looping it back down through the hole at the top. Then we're just going to make a simple overhand knot and use a little dab of hot glue to prevent it from unraveling and then tie it a second time before the glue cools to help secure it in place. Now that we got one end tied and secured, there's an important thing we need to do before we tie the other end and that's to take the little string and twist it up to make it a little bit tighter. This will increase durability and give it a little bit longer lifespan. Then with our string tightened, we're gonna take the other end, we're gonna loop it back through the hole at the other end, tie it in a single knot, and then at that point, we're gonna adjust the actual tightness of our bowstring itself. You can use the table or your stomach just to press in a little bit as you tie the knot, and then secure it with a second knot like you did the other one to hold everything securely in place. So here we are guys, at this point our micro longbow is just about complete, we've just got these long strings flipping off the end here, but because they're glued in place and double knotted, we can very easily snip those off with a pair of scissors and reuse this material to make some silencing tassels for the bowstring itself. So you can see I just took those leftover bits of string, I tied them with a double knot on the tops and bottoms of the bowstring itself, kind of in line with the lashings we did earlier, and then I snipped them down so they're about a quarter to half an inch long, and then just ruffled them up a little bit so they look like decorative tassels that act as improvised dampers for the bowstring. Now of course these are mainly just for looks, but it's another cool way to use up some of those scraps before they go in the garbage. All right, at this point our bow is finished, so let's go ahead and make some arrows. So for these improvised arrows, we're not going to be making true arrows that fly perfectly straight, but we're going to be making something good enough. Start off by finding a few bamboo skewers, and it is important to find the ones that are as straight as possible. You're going to see some of them are kind of wonky and jut off angles. We don't want those. We want to go with the ones that are as close to perfectly straight as you rotate them around. And the actual length of these arrows are going to be about the same length as our bow itself. So just lay the skewer over top, find the distance, and then break it off near the bottom. And to help them lock into the bowstring a little bit better, we can put a little knock in the end, which can be easily made with a knife, a pair of scissors, or in my case, a piece of broken hacksaw blade. 
Now these arrows are made for very short range target practice. If we wanted them to go longer, we'd actually have to add fletchings to the end, which isn't gonna work shooting them out through this hole here. But one little trick that we can do to add a little bit of weight and help keep them centered as they fly through the air is to add a dab of hot glue about an inch down from the tip. It's kind of like glass blowing. <laughs> you wanna keep it moving. And try and get it to settle into as aerodynamic of a ball as you can. But of course, if you're impatient like me, you might just want to stick it on your tongue, roll it around a little bit. It'll help dissipate the heat and get it to cool down a little bit quicker. Plus, you can kind of shape it a little bit more aerodynamically as well. So there we have it, guys. Our long bow and arrow are completely finished and ready for short range target testing. And for that, we're going to be using a couple pieces of toast. I just grabbed a paper plate, cut a slit down the middle, and shoved some toast down it to form a makeshift target. And I made up a couple more long bows as well. And I think they all look really great. So let's put these things to the test and see how our little micro long bows hold up to the battle at the breakfast table. Bang! Sweet. Well, there you have it, guys. That is how to make a micro longbow that you can now add to your arsenal of desktop weaponry. Thanks for joining me for this project. I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> how did I miss from point blank? Hey guys, quick reminder that King of Random t-shirts are available once again. Just go ahead and click the link at the top of the description and it'll take you to where you can get one today.